The problem has been backing up big performances with big performances lately for Michael Van Gooen. Can he do it again here? He starts as a massive favourite and starts with a 180. Oh, look at this from Fallon Sherrick. That would have been something. She'd hit Van Gerwen back with a 180. But Michael, you just sense. Has looked in the mood from the off. He wants to get this done and get it done sharpish. And Ooh, Fallon's just got to hang in there in the early part of this game. Might have said that against Dimitri and that. Wasn't too much of a detriment, but Michael Van Gerwen, 47 after nine. And who knows, Stu, we expect Michael Van Gerwen to go on and be victorious here. He breaks that duck we've been talking about. What can he then go on to achieve for the remainder of the year? It's all about getting it right at the right time of the year and this is the start, really, of the, the busiest time in world darts. World Series event, and then we've got... Van Gerwen looking just to wrap this up. Finally, takes the first leg. Yeah, we've got... The Grand Prix, the European Championships, the Grand Slam, the World Series Finals, the European Championships, as I say, and... Players' Championships, World Championship. It's all about building up to the Ali Pali. This is where kind of your practice routine goes out the window. There's so much competitive darts, and you just keep ticking over. Not much time to practice. Michael Van Gerwen looking to get this done. His focus will then switch to Gibraltar. European tour yet to seal his place in the European Championship Finals. Then he looks at the Grand Prix and then you just tick into every event as the year goes by. Yeah, whatever happens, Fallon Sherrick has broken new ground once more in the world of darts. If you are just joining us, that win 11 10 against Dimitri Vandenberg. The big 7 1, 8 2, and 9 3 down was absolutely astonishing. Yes. Vandenberg made a mess of it missing eight match darts, but you can take nothing away from the way that Fallon just kept going, kept chipping away and forcing Vandenberg into error after error. Was she going to stay there? She is, 140, giving herself an opportunity. Double 18. Ah, good yeah, finish from Michael Van well. Yeah, big shot from Michael Van Gooen, yeah, takes control Michael early in the match. Break a throw, back-to-back -back 15 darts to start the game for Michael. 99. Well, we know... That and Gerwin, when he gets on a roll, is ruthless. No sentiment in sport. He'll want to win this as quickly as possible. He wants his first title since yeah. the Players' Championship Finals. At the back end of last year. Ten months. Yeah, and you'd never, he would never envisage when he lifted that trophy against, after defeating Mervyn King, that would be... Oh, in the middle of September, where he's potentially lifting his next trophy. He hasn't won this match yet. We all expect him to, but he's got to be professional about the job here. Ninety-six. Yeah, whatever happens, a huge moment, another massive moment for the sport and for women's darts. To what Fallon has achieved. Yeah, absolutely. She's had a bit of luck along the way. Got a bye in the quarterfinals after Gerwin Price withdrew due to an elbow injury, but the way that she played in that semi final has more than justified Amazing. her place in this event. She got a chance here with that 180 to break Van Gerwen. 
Yeah, get a bit of luck, you've got to run with it. 65 for the break back. Two darts at tops. Yeah, That's better. The doubles in the early part of the match against Dimitri and on song, but she's been feeling good about herself there. Breaks straight back, 2-1. and Plenty for Michael Van Gerwen to ponder here. Nothing phases Fallon Sherrick. Oh. She will relish the moment of playing in front of four and a half thousand fans in a televised PDC final. 436. Playing against one of the best that there's ever been. What a challenge. But she'll love every minute of it. 140. And she'll back it up with some great darts along the way, too. Michael oh, Van Gerwen has just got to be patient here. You can see he's eager to try and run away with this final, but... Good start to the match from both. Oh, lucky. Well, that's unlucky. Because it was in the treble. And bounced out, wedging between those first two darts. 140. 141. This is a really good response because that 60 points loss may yet prove to be very important in this leg. Oh, ah, superb from Sherrick. Magnificent dart. That's a treble 19 to keep the shot alive. It's looking like two apiece. Two on the doubles and 2 2 in the scoreline. Michael Van Gerwen's darts in this leg before we head into the first break. We have ourselves a final. Six. As if we ever doubted it. Yeah, you made a very good point. You know, as far as Van Gerwen is concerned, he's going to have to be careful, he doesn't get too eager. But look well, at that. Back to back legs and 27 darts from Fallon. And then a 140 to pile the pressure on. 83. Michael Van Gerwen. Oh, got to be careful here, Mike. Yeah, one to forty, down two to one, and who'd have thought? And Michael Van Gerwen led two 0 There was a possibility going into the first break, trailing. Oh, it's a real possibility now. Well, sensational darts from Sherrick. 140, 140, 140 from Fallon. One hundred and twenty-eight. She needs the ball. Fifty-six. Expect to maybe come back. Big ass for Michael Van Gerwen. Going treble 18 for a couple of tops, but not going to get a go here. And that's not convincing. That's a mess. So to lead at the first break, Sherrick needs 25. Oh, it's double delight for Fallon Sherrick. Michael Van Gerwen back on his heels. She rocks. She rocks. She rocks. She does in this final so far, and she has tonight. Michael Van Gerwen, who was very, very eager, as Mark mentioned in the early stages of the final, has been given much to muse about. He's just got to relax and not be playing a million miles now in a rush to clinch his first title Eight. since November. But he did trail 3-2 against Johnny Clayton and won that middle session 5-0. Averaging around 97, but there we see the legs. A couple of 15s for Michael, then 14, 13, 14 for Sherrick. It's a good standard in the opening five legs. Van Gerwen, when he beat Mervyn King, was made to go all the way. Maybe the same scenario here. He's got to be patient. Well, this leg will make you feel a whole lot better. Nine darts thrown, only 47 left. 429. Enough for the finish. So Van Gerwen to call the break straight back. Instant response. 
Not yet. We'll get another go. Two eights. For three, three. Good response from Van Geerwin. Be looking to repeat his mid-session mid surge that he had against Johnny Clayton. Which ultimately gave him complete control of the tie. As we mentioned there, Mark, whatever, it's been exceptional from Fallon Sherrick. There's some great ladies' darts players across time, but the standard of the women's game has never been as high as it is today across the board. No, it hasn't. Just need a bit more depth in the ladies' game, but the opportunities to play in the women's series will only improve players and get them practicing because they know now the rewards are there they've finally had a good injection of financial reward into the sport oh, versus the PDC. So the of, course, of course Fallon's exploits can only inspire young girls to follow suit and of course Ball for another break. Oh, it's close. Again, Michael Van Geeren isn't having it his own way here. And we thought he was going to after the first couple of legs. Another break, baby, here. 65. Only one, 25. Yeah. She isn't missing much, is she? What a fabulous final this is. Oh, the crowd in Copenhagen loving every second of it, and so are we. This is absolutely sensational from Fallon Sherrod. Michael Van Gerwen being forced to respond. Oh, what a response. Big lagging coming here. Look at this, here we go again. Is it a third maximum? Oh, to be 181 after six. Hundred one average for Fallon Sherrick, touching a hundred for Michael Van Gerwen. He's scored a hundred and one remaining. Oh, yeah. Well, inspired from Fallon. Mike's feeling it here. He wasn't expecting this level of performance. He just needed to maintain his own game and he'd been okay, but. Is there going to be some daylight? 5 3, the ball. 52. No need to go for it, really, but they didn't got away with it. 32 left. I don't know what Mike could do about it. All hot. Boundary climb, 32. Well, this is now developing into one heck of a story. Gerwin kicks off the leg with a max. Is this going to kick him into action? Best he can do is be level at the second break. Oh, I think we all expected Fallon to play well, but let's be honest, not this well. You look at some of the finals Michael Van Gerwen's played against the likes of Johnny Clayton in the Players' Championship Finals, which is his debut, Mensor Sulevic. He just had it all his own way, didn't he? Because debutants a bit overall, but not on this occasion. 93. Fallon has won five out of the last six legs of this final. Michael. Got to win this leg, you feel. Just electing to set up. He doesn't find something though. This is. Six. 
This can apply pressure. It's, there's going to be pressure. How much of it? Plenty is the answer. Over to you, Michael Van Gooy. Well, this is quite astonishing. Massive moments in this final. And Van Gooy blinks again. And Fallon with that 180. Has won another one. Six out of seven. Fallon Sherrick leads Michael Van Gooy. Six legs to three with an average of 103. And so far, you have to say, not even getting carried away because it's the truth that this is one of the greatest performances from a, a women dart player that we've ever seen. And Van Gerwen, after another 140 from Sherrick, has to find the 180. Five 180s in the last three legs. Mike, Bond got to win this leg. Fallon probably for the first time believing she can win this final. Well, she's, she was throwing, she still is throwing for a, a 7-3 lead. She's not giving this up by any stretch of the imagination. And that's an error. Again, Michael Van Gerwen. It's forced errors. I just couldn't find a way through to the treble. The Fallon gets a crack at 110 here. We're a 7 3 lead. And even the way the game's going, you wouldn't back Michael to get rid of this 72. Got to go, Mike. Well, he needed that. Fallon was waiting. She was waiting. Ever, if not the best performance in the circumstances from a women's dark star, and she is a star in the history of the sport. She was sat on 60 to go 7-3 up. The way she'd been finishing, she probably would have got it. Michael Van Gogh wins double four. Has kept him very much in this final. Yeah, it was a big dart, but the errors have been forced. The mistakes for Michael Van Gerwen are because Fallon's waiting in the wings for a shot. And I like said 100 average over this level. Probably the best she's ever played. Over 10 legs. Six. Forcing Michael Van Gerwen into mistakes. And look at the opening six from Van Gerwen here. He's just very fortunate the Sheriff hasn't managed to find the treble. But he'll know any chance afforded. She'll take him. She Fallon again. is back on the money. What a shot. 4-1-8. He's a piece now. He's switching for Mike, but he's 1-2-2. Two, two. Another two treble visit here, and it could be yet another break. And a three-leg cushion again. Playing the game of a life. Van Geeren has to respond. Wow, that's and he does. Mighty Mike flexing his muscles with the 1-2-2 two, two finish. Back-to-back -back legs. Six. Alan Sherrick, daring to dream. 96. You, you can say one of don't the best get... players, Mark, that's in the history of darts. Yeah, but you can say don't get carried away, but Fallon's going to. She's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and oh, now was 6'3", but it could have been 7'3". And I don't care what you say, you can't just be in a final and say no pressure. You put pressure on yourself to win these finals. 57. And still... Has a break. And still firing in One, the treble twenties. And even a 180 from Michael Van Gogh here isn't going to leave a finish. So time.
Yeah, Sherrick to restore the two-leg buffer and edge closer to a remarkable win. On. It's OK. Michael Van Gogh in these three of those. Three big trebles. Oh, Only gets two. Uh, yeah, that one. overly worry Sherrick. And one. Double 18 for 7 5. Four away from the title. 83. Michael 154. Oh, top for Van Gerwen. On oh, 140. A millimetre away from levelling the final. 7-5. And there it is, four legs away. Almost six all. But the two leg cushions restored. We are getting to the business end of this final now. On Wow. Sporting drama. In one of the sporting capitals of Europe. And Fallon Sherrick continues to write all the headlines. 131. She's got, she's forcing, she's controlling the match, Stu, isn't she? She's forcing Michael Van Gerwen to produce something. Well, that was in and out, that was 60 for Fallon, unlucky. 40. And she's not oh, able to leave a finish because of that. She's dictating at the minute. And that's unfortunate because doesn't leave a finish and Michael now will not go for the ball. You see how early on Johnny Clayton just set oh, her. Indeed. Eighty-two. Like we were going thirty-two. Let's go within one again. Thirty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Good leg. Again. Shannon waiting on ninety-nine. Was in striking Eight. distance. Still has that solitary breaker throw, but it's a delicate break. Just got to stay solid. Ninety-nine. If she wins this leg, she will not trail going into the final session of the match. Reminder, we have a break after 15 legs. 94. On. Ah, yeah. Fired up now, Michael Van Gerwen. He knows he needs to produce something like that if he's going to break through. He's not just going to get away with a mediocre leg to get the break back. He's going oh, to have to produce. Again, three steady visits to 204. One four, Michael sensing the break of throw, but still, a two treble visit here. And needs to find one now. See Michael waiting in the back on eager to get on with it. Six three down. Is he about to level up this final? Forty two. Well, Fallon find a fabulous one forty six. It's good not good set at play from Michael Van Gerwen. And the pressure's coming. Great set up play, that's and the pressure's on the 85 now. Two at double 14. Only needs one. Big shot. And this time he responds and finally levels up the match. Still delicately poised. Last leg before we go into our final break. Well, Van Gerwen's turn to turn on the style. Four out of the last five legs he's won. But for me, the biggest dart of this match came in the tenth leg. And Van Gerwen, last dart in hand, nailed double four 
to trail only 6-4 when Fallon was sat on 60 to go 7-3 up. Here she goes again. Oh, Flexion just takes it into the water, but it's still a good visit. And the average is still in the high 90s. Michael is up at 100 now, but it's a high quality affair. 81. Still not out of this leg here, but it's going to be difficult from here now. And I can't Jesus. rescue the situation. Michael Van Gerwen, who hasn't led since he led 2-1. 140. Well, Michael Van Gerwen, I would suggest, has had to dig as deep as he has in any big games at any stage in his career. Sword. On the rare occasion that Fallon's not within striking distance. Just gone off the boil. Maybe she was Are thinking about the title and you could forgive her for that. But still on throw. Michael Van Gogh hasn't got rid of this yet. He and does on this occasion, so a turnaround in that session, Michael Van Goo in lead. Two best performances of her life. Of course, what she achieved at the Alexandra Palace in beating Ted Everts and Medshul Sulovic, then running Chris Dovey close. We'll go down in history, but as we mentioned earlier, Fallon is, is writing her own book, isn't she? Don't be fooled into thinking that Michael Van Gerwen is just going to reel off three legs comfortably here. Still work to be done. Oh, we thought she may just hang around in the match, but she dictated, didn't she, Stu? It's only the last couple of legs where One Michael Van Gerwen's up it. Fallon's on slightly off the boil, but... Again, the... that's an the awful fortunate flip, unlucky, kiss. Yeah. Great recovery. You just see, we, we saw in the first round, she lost a lot of darts to the floor, and you can see him, they're just barely sticking oh, in. The treble 19 was hanging by a thread there, but it was enough. He's a minimum ton here, you feel. Look at it again. Had to, oh, but 128. Had to come down for 19, because 128 is awkward. At least one, two, seven. 96. One treble guarantees you a shot the ball. If you hit the treble 18, you've got to find another one. Got to find the treble 20 now. 50. 50. Great nine, seven lead. And four legs on the trot. Or Michael Van Gerwen, there it is. And maybe now he's finally broke the spirit of Valen Sherrick. Nine, seven, he leads. Two legs away. Well, the first title since the back end of November last year. Well, that Gerwin is moving very, very quickly through the gears, third to fourth to fifth to sixth. Again, I think that one did come off the wire, but good adjustment. Still a good stand, the 99, say 100 for Michael Van Gerwen, around about the 96 mark for Sherrick. Now, this has been a really good response from, from Michael, hasn't it? Under immense pressure. Oh, Sensible darts. Well, we saw Dimitri van der Berg fold under the pressure in the semi-final. 
But it's been a different sort of pressure here, though, Mike. Uh, Stu, Mike's had to chase Fallon down. Dimitri Vandenberg had the game in his palm. But Fallon forced the issue. It wasn't just about the Dimitri Vandenberg collapse. He won't sleep well tonight. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what Michael said then, but it certainly wasn't complimentary to those three darts he threw. The league double four, but Van Gogh in here. Good moment here, just shuffling along. Now then, double four. Gets it with his last down. Four again. It's the double four in leg ten that rescued Michael Van Gogh in this final. And it's the double four here that has taken Michael Van Gogh in now to within one of the title. Is Fallon's fantastic bid coming to an end? We shall see. What an advert again for the women's game. Talking of which, it's been it's been really good to see one of the greats of women's darts, Trina Gulliver, back playing. She's been uh, out for a couple of years after a serious illness, and she's back having a go. We wish her all the best. Yeah, hope to see it at the women's series as well. Most decorated player in terms of women's world titles, Trina Gulliver. Fallon here has just got to make Michael Van Gogh and throw oh, for the match. Don't let this leg slip for your grasp, and it's a it's a good leg. Nine darts, one seventy. One hundred and forty. I knew one hundred and seventy. Forty. Michael Van Gerwen looked to lay up the one seven eight. Two of them. So still, oh, the last one a little nod, but to hang on in this final one thirty. Only one treble needed. It's a good guide. And lucky he can't find it. And Michael Van Gerwen should get a match start here, oh, minimum four. one, possibly two. You're going to get the job done here. Van Gerwen. To win the title, Michael Van Gerwen, after 293 barren days, wins his first title for 10 months. Fabulous.